Hi, and welcome to another lesson in our series of SOLIDWORKS training tutorials. In this lesson, we'll look at creating this spiral staircase using the Copy with Mates tool. So let's get into it. Okay, so we've got our assembly with uh, Mates assembly open. And in this, we've got a center pole, a spacer, and a step. So we're going to copy the spacer and the step to create that spiral um, effect on this little staircase here. So to copy my components, I'm going to come up to Insert Components and select Copy with Mates. And then I'm going to select my components that I want to copy. So I want to copy this part and this part. So the spacer and the step. So I come up here and go to Next. So we've got a few mates that are common to these. So we've got a couple of concentrics. We've got a coincident and a concentric down here again. So some of them we might want to use and some of them you might you might just need to replace. In this case, we're going to repeat the first two. So we're going to repeat those concentric ones because those are the ones that are keeping that plate and the, and the uh, shafts around the center pole on like that. But we're going to look at replacing the concentric one first. So if I look at the concentric and select that, concentric tree. And I'll zoom in just to make this a little bit clearer. And so I'll just select the next one around. So that's the one coming sort of directly off that. So if I just select this one here then for my first mate, and you can see that mate's like that. So let's move that around. And then for my second mate, my coincident mate, so it's going to be this one here. And if I move it up here, so you can see that that's move that round one. So it's gone around one step, and it's moved it up a distance of that little component there. So I'll click OK on that, and we're going to create another one, and again. Same time here, and it doesn't matter which way around, we kind of pick it, so I can pick that one as my face. And then this one here, using this one, I can go around to the next one. So I'll just go around there. And that's that component around there. And click OK on that. And then the same again. So it's um, make sure I'm on the right. Make sure you're in the right box before you select it. So if I select that face, and then the concentric one is going to be, and move it around to there. So it's going to be that one. And that. I don't know if I hit isometric on that. So you can see we've got our four steps created around in the and a spiral around the pole. And that's that part complete. If you have any questions about this video, or if you'd just like to leave a comment, feel free to pop one in the comments below. And I'll try and reply to as many as I can. While you're here, if you feel you got some value from this, if you could hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, as I'll be posting new content every week. And thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon.